This is the first day on site of Build Camp, a four day event designed to inspire young people to go into civil engineering. Over four days, we'll be asking them to design, plan and build a railway line across this site. This is their first day on site and they've been split into three teams. We have one team working on the bridge and they're assembling the bridge in the assembly area over there. We have another team who are working on building the permanent way, putting in the sub base and putting in the railway track. And finally, behind us, we have a team setting the whole thing out. And we're ranging over the hill because we need to get the exact measurements so the digger can then come in and take away the hill so we can build the train track through. So we've got to figure out the vertical height above ground level that the track needs to be so that it can go over the bridge. I think I do want to go into civil engineering. It's mainly because I'm interested in the structures and I think this course will help me because it will make me realise whether I actually do want to do it. But so far I'm enjoying it, so probably. We're doing the bridge, so now we're tying up the bridge before we get it in this eye. I'm a practical person, so my options are open, so I wanted to know if I can do civil engineering, if it's the right thing for me. I like that you start off with just plans on paper, you start off with something really simple in someone's mind and you just develop it out and it ends up being something creative and it's something that everyone sees, whether it's because they're driving over it or because it is something that's world famous. I'm fascinated by the built environment and drawn especially to the great world problems, the need for shelter, the need for food, the need for protection against changes in the environment, especially with the potential global warming. I'd like to see myself in the future as a civil engineer. I want to go to university to study civil engineer, but also hope to complete a year in industry to further expand my practical skills, which I've been using today. Yesterday, I think everyone was a bit in shock about all the initiative we were asking them to take. Last night, though, we helped them organise themselves into more effective team groups, and now they've arrived on site this morning knowing exactly what they need to do. So we have one team working on the sub-base in the background for the railway. We have another team plotting out the railway through the hill. And finally, we have a team about to do the lift of the first section of bridge over the river. Yesterday we marked out the trenches and the dimensions of the trench and uh, this morning we came and excavated the trench and now what we're doing is laying uh, the type 1 material which is the base of the foundations. And we wanted to find something that enabled us to help to give uh, those people who are currently doing A-levels and thinking of doing engineering at university an experience of what might happen on a live construction site, but in a safe and controlled environment. Build Camp was an idea that Think Up and Construction Area have already had for the sixth form student market. So Balfour BT and the ICE came together to uh, turn that into a reality. The best civil engineers, when they come out of university, have not just got very good degrees academically, but they've also done work experience on site or in design offices because they're able to combine both the theoretical and the practical. Build Camp is a microcosm of that, and we would hope that when these people go on to university, they would see the value of doing summer placements and year outs in engineering companies, so that they'll come out and graduate as much more skilled civil engineers for the future. So here we are at the last day of build camp. It's really all hands on deck to get that railway as close to the finish point as possible. We have one crew laying down the last bit of sub base, another crew putting down ballast, and finally another crew doing the last bit of railway. We'll see how far they get. I've learned a lot more about how the process works in reality of doing, um, you know, like a big construction and engineering project. Well, I think everyone on the course has had a chance to take on like leadership roles. So there's been lots of like teams and sub-teams and you generally in, in that sort of environment somebody takes charges and like organises everyone so yeah I think everyone's
had a go at leadership, which has been really good. So that was Build Camp. Over the last four days, these 15 students have had a hands-on taste of what it is to be a civil engineer, planning, building, and then finally riding their own railway line. And I'm confident that we've really inspired some of these people to pursue their interest in civil engineering in the future.